Hey there everybody, this is Lee with Creative Two Time Mom and today I'm going to be sharing with you manipulatives for your math curriculum. I have a few items here in front of me so I hope you will stick around and be inspired by this video. Now today's video is part of a collaboration being hosted by Claire at Cookie Crumb Fun. I'm going to link her channel down below as well as the playlist. I know there's going to be some great contributors out there and some absolutely wonderful ideas so I hope you will check it out. Now, as far as what I have in front of me, some of these things came from Target Dollar Spot, some of these things came from the Dollar Tree, and some of these things are items that you might use in your homeschool, but also would transfer over to family life. So let's start with some of the less expensive items. Now this first set of items is all within the dollar range. The Target Dollar Spot has a great set of school items, usually at the end of July, beginning of August, but sometimes you can find these items at other times throughout the year. So be on the lookout, you may see them. The first couple of things are math flashcards. We cannot talk about math without flashcards. This is one of my favorites. They have a great set of different items. There's always subtraction, addition. Those are great for memorizing those basic math facts, but I always look out for the multiplication ones as well. And they have a set of divisions. So we own, I think all of them except for the division. And then I discovered these this year, which were a fantastic find. They are the dry erase cards, and there's about four different questions on each one, and it comes with a little pen. We always have dry erase markers, but it's nice to have the little one that stays in the zipper pouch as well. This is just a fun way to practice multiplication facts. When your child is getting tired of using a pencil, I find that my kids, if they can use something a little bit different, either a marker or a dry erase marker, that just changes the whole game and it brings, kind of breathes new life into the lesson. So that was a fun little find. These came from the Dollar Tree. And I kind of hesitate to call these manipulatives, but they fall within the flashcard category. And it's mathematical terms. These, I believe, go from about fourth grade and on. So it talks about, you know, the hundredths place, the a lot of the decimal places, which is kind of difficult concept for my kids to pick up on. Um, the tens, the place value directly to the left of the decimal, the ones, uh, common factor, equivalent fractions, multiplication. So a lot of these are nice for just learning the terms that come along with math. That can sometimes be a challenge and I have not seen flashcards out there like this and I definitely picked this one up. This is helping us a lot to learn about the vocabulary of higher math. And the last two items in that dollar section, both came from Target as well, and it's just nice to have a set of play money. Sometimes I will pull out dollars from the Monopoly game, but then it doesn't always get put back where it should be. So I found a set of like just plastic coins and play money. I'm sure you could pick these up at Dollar Tree as well, but I know that Target has them. This is well loved, as you can tell. I love having this for just when we start talking about money or the kids will want to pull this out for playing store or playing school. It's nice to have a set of these and as they get lost I don't feel too bad I can add to them year to year as I need to. This is a puzzle and it goes from numbers 1 to 20 and each little stick has a number on the bottom. Let me see if you can see that. They're about the size of a popsicle stick and on the bottom is the number. So as you put these in order, as you sequence them correctly, it creates a picture. Let's see, these are two that do not go together. So it's self-correcting. If your child sees that the picture is not correct, then they have to go back and try to figure out where they got lost in the sequence and put it in the correct way. I love that this is a self-correcting activity. This is one of those things that we would do when the kids were in preschool, even on into kindergarten year. It was a nice brain break to say, okay, let's put the math book away for today and use some of these items to do something a little bit different. And this is one of those things that the kids love to do at that age. This last item, I believe I picked up at the Target dollar spot. I can't really remember. Uh, but I know that you can get something similar to this at the Dollar Tree. If you cannot find the foam one, this would have been in the school supplies, but we have also had a plastic one 
for a business. It was a business sign and it would say something like store hours on something and you could change the handles on the clock face. Ours got ripped but it lasted a really long time being that plastic and I know you can get those at the Dollar Tree. This one I believe came from the Target Dollar Spot and on one side you're just working with the two hands to get the correct time. On the back side, it also includes the uh, minutes, which I love because for one thing, it's great practice in counting by fives. For another thing, it also helps your child to visualize, okay, one stands for five, two stands for 10, and you've got the hands on the clock to just play with, to learn from. This is another thing that the kids, when they were younger, would pull out and play store with. You know, the store opens at this time and they would set the clock or I could set the clock and they would tell me what time it was or they could set the clock based on a number that I would write on the board. This is one of those fun hands-on things that really makes learning time easier because time can be a difficult concept. I know a lot of adults who still struggle with time and telling time. So this was a great one to have on hand. The next few items kind of move up in price a little bit, but they're all well worth having in your homeschool. And I'm sure a lot of you homeschool moms know what these are. These are wrap-ups, and they come in several different varieties, a lot like flashcards. You can get the addition ones, the subtraction, division, multiplication, and one that I recently discovered was states and capitals. So that doesn't quite go with math, but it's out there. So you've got the string, these are minus one. So I'm gonna start with the first number, seven minus one is gonna be six. So I'm gonna wrap over to the six. And then I come back to the next number, four minus one is three. Two minus one is one. So the pattern changes. As your child works their way down the wrap up, these are self-correcting as well, because then on the back, it has the lines of where everything should crisscross from the correct answer so they can check themselves. Love having these on hand. It's something a little bit different that gets them just kind of moving, gets their wiggles out, makes a different connection to the brain than they would necessarily have from just using flashcards or just doing problems on a page. It's just a little bit different, a little bit fun to play with. I actually found these, they're not too expensive, but I actually found these for $2 a piece at our used children's store. So keep an eye open for those. The next thing comes from Lakeshore Learning and that is 10 frames. These were about the $5 price point. And you, it comes with two of these 10 frames as well as all the little dots that go with them. One side is white, one side is red. We used these a lot when we were doing addition and subtraction. And even sometimes with multiplication, they can be really fantastic. So I always try to keep a set of those on hand. In fact, I may need to get a new set because I think we are losing markers as time has gone on. A fun thing that works really well with math, but it's also just a fun toy, and that is GeoBoards. This set has the square side as well as a round side that would be similar to like a spiral or a clock design. And we also have the rubber bands so you can, your child can create shapes. They can create uh, triangles, squares, rectangles. One of the things that I love this for as they get older is to talk about perimeter and to talk about area because it really gives a hand-on aspect of that where they can sit and they can count the little pegs to calculate the area and to calculate the perimeter. These have been super helpful and I love having them. There's also an app that my husband has on his iPad and if I can find it, I will link that down below. Anything that I have here that I can find online, I will link down below and otherwise I'll let you know if it's at the Dollar Tree, which is where a lot of this comes from. Moving into games, we found a set of these uh, Shape Shuffle at Ross and I paid about $5 for this. Regular price is $12. These are very similar to Tanagrams and then it comes with the picture and you do the different colored shapes to create the picture. Now I like this set, it was well worth the $5, don't get me wrong. However, they don't interlock in the cards and so I kind of wish I had a little bit of a nicer set where the shapes wouldn't shift, but for the $5 price point, this was a great find. 
And the last thing is kind of a family life, practical. We all know that games are great for math. You can use Candyland to teach math, to teach colors, to keep, teach shapes, because it's all about the dice. Um, a lot of games are just about the dice and being able to count and multiply and moving around a game board. But our favorite, our favorite math board game is always going to be Monopoly. It's great for using the dice. It's great for working around the game board. It's also great for teaching the concept of budgeting, of money management, of knowing how to collect rent, how to create change. That was a big thing with my little guy when he was younger. We put him in charge of the bank pretty early on so he could learn to make change, how to pay for things. And now he's 13 and he's an absolute monopoly tycoon. We can't win at this game anymore. He, he gets me every time. <laughs> so that's all of our math manipulatives that we have to share with you today. Don't forget to check out that playlist down below. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscription button and give this video a thumbs up. I hope you'll stick around and share in our journey with us. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye guys.